Hello everybody, Jet here, and a welcome back to my Dol Amroth playthrough, where we are currently dealing with a large, nasty rebellion. Um, with my allies, I should be able to deal with it. We are the uh, about the fourth or fifth of our line, and we've um, Aragorn just died. I, I don't know what happened. It was it was terrible. Um, however, unfortunately, the, uh, the, the, the line of Dol Amroth has fallen from grace. We are a shadow of what we used to be. We are also very skint and just got our butt kicked by this rebellion. I need to do some tactical marrying for alliances, I think, if I can. I have messed up. Uh, I may actually lose this war, guys, which would be bad. Can I can I ask my liege for help in the war? You know, because claim his throne. <laughs> that uh, that wouldn't be a good idea just now. I am very skint, and I am really struggling with this war. Um, but my allies are finally goddamn here. Um, so who knows, we may be able to fight back a bit with them. I said we were doing quite well, but they managed to mass everything. A bit more than I had hoped, so yeah. Uh, we've actually sieged down a bit here of their territory, so I think we're going to keep pushing against them. Ah, even more allies! There we go. The allied forces are here to destroy these usurpers, these Umbarian separatists. And once we've dealt with this, we'll work out exactly where we're going in the future. Got big ass battle. We can win this, especially if my allies get in. Come on, come on, guys, get your butts in. Endless toil. Oh, irritable. I'm surrounded by fools. Kind of fits with the fat idea that we are, we are falling. We are a once great house. Which is falling, guys, so, yeah. Um. Ugh, something's gone wrong. <laughs> that mask all looks a bit weird. I think he's changed his mask. Uh, why am I stuck in the look like I'm actually uh, folding? Let's keep sieging down. Um, I could do with pushing and getting some supplies soon from my own territory, actually. So Let's go back to speed four. But so long as we can keep the pressure on, we can win this. That's their capital, so that's these some of their capitals are probably where we want to work towards. Condemn him for his transgressions. Here. Oop, I gained the trait wounded. Yay. Come on, come on. No, I'm going to go for their capital. Straight onto their capital, if we can take that out. Umbar's got huge walls, so it's probably relatively safe. And then we'll go to try and confront them with the, uh, with the Alliance forces here. We'll try and reclaim Maros first. I know, we'll just put ourselves here. Oh, my allies better goddamn join me. <laughs> I 
Good, we're winning. I have a new... No! Oh, a child of my dynasty. A new alliance pawn. I don't care, he is literally an alliance pawn. Under Harrow, where are they? Yes, they are actually in our territory. Oh, good God, Mordor has. Yeah. Isengard has collapsed, and Mordor is huge under its, its new leadership. Right, we're going to move straight down to this capital next to burn that one, break that one. And then we'll probably move up to that one next. We're getting there, basically. Slowly, slowly. There, we've nearly won this. Um, if we can siege down here, we'll probably get it. Uh, a call to war? I can't right now. I am too... Goddamn skimp. Why is that not appearing on my screen fully? I'm proper skint at the moment. Unfortunately, that means I'm losing part of my forces. Potentially, though they are also kind of trapped here so by the enemy forces. However, if they lose battles... Come on, come on, come on! There we go! Right, now the uh, replenishment, the fixing the realm, basically. Actually, we're not too bad. Forcibly change the culture, of that. I could just torture him. Negotiate release. Renounce claims. Gain... Renounce claims. Torture. Had to be done. Negotiate release, renounce claims, and a gain weak hook. Right, let's have a look. And uh, now I'm just basically ran some arrest off for some money. So we've got rid of the worst ones there. See, these are obviously um, rem remnants of the king's men. Who had some good ideas, if I'm honest. Yeah, I want his money. Nope, I don't want to attend any of these traitors' feasts. They're all out to get me, guys. All of them. All of my vassals are traitors. Traitors and scum. They can't see what's happening. I'm playing the uh, the idea that we've uh, fallen. Oh, we have disabled buildings? A bit 
confused. Ah, now it's hit the control. Right, let's start reclaiming, like getting my control sorted out. We'll sort those disabled buildings in a bit. Oh, I think they used to work and they've changed them from working. I think the buildings which have been uh, tweaked as this thing, as this mod has been updated. So maybe it's something I shouldn't have been able to get originally. Ooh, we need a little bit of peacetime. Mordor's having a little war. A wild monami, I don't think they're going to be a problem. Erua Luvatar's judging those sinners, so things are going well now. They're going better anyway than they were. Uh, Mordor is looking... Oh my god, yeah. Mordor is looking strong. Uh, no. Kingsguard, more knights, more knights. Yeah, I am going to reduce my stress a bit. We're going to lose weight because we're a little overindulgent. Oh, we are the, we are the Prince of Dol Amroth. You know, one of the rightful remaining of Numenor. Unlike this uh, house of so-called kings who are on the throne now. Uh, yes, I want my daughter to be wrathful. So I have a hook, so I can use it to take these guys on in a bit. Now basically, I'm going to nom up that chunk of territory. I mean, the other thing I could do is use it to modify my contract further. Uh, make myself a march. Uh, <laughs> which reduces my tax, but means we provide bigger levies. What's that do? Interesting. Hmm. Well, subject on our special is bonuses to their levies and defense capabilities, but provide 50% less tax, but it gives us buffs. I mean, I could just do that, and it would give me 3,000 more troops straight away, or that, which would give me a lot more money. But no, I want the wars. I will do that long run, but now... Easter Dilemma. I'm more interested in you. Oh, oh. I said, this is the first of the fallen, fallen kings of Dol Amroth, and we've got Funir next. Um, how is my religion? Ooh, I think I need to have a look at upgrade, updating my mod because it looks like something is not quite all right. Where are the king's men? People of darkness faith, convert to faith. I could do it. It's not expensive and a lot of my people would do it. I think that's something for the future to convert to the king's men. Give us this warmonger at peace op opinion. Oh. Hedonistic and pirate traditions, or it would uh, definitely change things up a bit. I'm not going to do that just yet. In fact, I'm probably going to create our own bespoke religion because that's a that's a I think a good one to do um, and a good way to do it. Especially as we have seen some of the religious stuff is goddamn op. Um. What shall we call our, our, our faith? The New Kings. Similar to the King's Men.
but looking towards the old gods for uh, things, but separating ourselves. See, I wish I could choose some of the evil ones, pursuit of power, reincarnation is cool. That's good. Some of these are, are just awesome. However, it's also going to be very, very expensive to do. Let's see if we go for the military ones. See, that would be immense because it would give everybody I had a massive bonus, which I do think is cool. Uh, we just creating a new version of it, but no, this guy is definitely uh, beginning to fall. I mean, this line has been married into the uh, the line of Umbar as well. Ah, oh, he only has faint traces. Near the mind. Let's keep ransoming people. Not quite decided where he'll be yet. We'll probably unbetroth her at some point, but there we go. Annoys people, but who cares? We want somebody with traces. Filter. Hey, ideally, what I want is somebody full-blooded. Unfortunately, they rarely have children. It doesn't take long for it to drop off. So yeah, we want to try and, we're gonna save him and try and find some, a full-blooded Numenorian. But a daughter is good for alliances. Just try and get him onto the throne. Ooh, I have a cunning plan. Oh, did my daughter die? Well, bugger. No, 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 she's still there. Right. I don't even need to use the hook. Oh, so a matrilineal marriage, which means that they will be mine. And technically I could designate her my successor. Oh, I can't, yeah. 
I could designate her my heir, which would probably piss off all the others. I'm not going to do it yet, but that's probably something to think about before we die, because then we'll potentially get some full-blooded heirs, and we have a direct claim on... We have an actual proper claim, in fact. Ah, oh, I could say I could just start murdering my way through, because he's actually second in line. So if I can kill him off... I can actually put myself directly in line for the throne of Gondor. This seems like an idea. I think I need to do a few swapping of things. We are not good at that. And neither is our wife. God damn it. As soon as we uh, pop on it. No, I'm going to keep going down the military tree for the time being. I, I could technically challenge him to a duel. Uh, he will not accept. I, I could always try and murder him. It's just unlikely to actually work. Yeah, let's make it. Let's try. It's probably not going to work, but if it does work, it'll be awesome. I want to get down to Peacemaker, because that is an absolutely awesome one. I also want to get to the point where we have some money again. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, support schemes. There we go. 28%. Fine, fine, we're having a feast. Because basically... If I can murder him, I have basically got a matrilineal marriage organised with the next, with the next person on the throne, which means that while he will be on the throne, once he passes away, my children, my, my line will inherit Gondor. Um... At which point I designate her my next heir, and then we eventually take Gondor and we do it that way. Scandalous priest, condemn him for his transgressions. Uh, one of my vassals has declared war on Gondor. Interesting. Oh yeah, I think I was actually going to go to war with Anfalas, wasn't I? Because I've claimed their throne. Ooh. So she's a masterful philosopher, but again, the uh, betrothed can marry. The bonds of old are breaking. Um, once we've, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still looking at that idea. I like that idea of forcibly pushing myself onto the throne. I think that would be a very, very good thing. I'm going to speed five for a little bit because I'm too skint to do anything else. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, wait, no, it's another one. Whew. <laughs> I was about to say, what the hell happened there? Just, just going through the motions with all of these. Um, uh, 
Uh, no, I don't need to go to any at the moment. There is a scheme to murder me! Blackmail! Ooh. Fine! Lustful, I'm gonna make my daughter lustful. <laughs> we are definitely a fallen house, and as I said, we're trying to uh, manipulate myself to be in charge of the entirety of Gondor, and if we can manage that... Do it! Ah, oh, 57% was worth a try, if we'd managed that. God damn. We still have a good setup there to give us a really solid claim on the throne long run, so yeah. But most of today is, oh my god, Mordor. Mordor is looking terrifying and it is going to come down to one of those horrific battles between both Mordor and Gondor. Again, I wish I had reason to go to war with some of these guys. Because if I did, I would be nomming into their territory. I mean, Saruman is still alive, but uh, he still holds Isengard. Isengard. What? He's alive, but his capital is no longer Isengard. As soon as we can, we're going to have a war to extend our territory, but that's it. He accepted my advice and gained some martial skill. She's going full intrigue focus. Educate child myself. Uh, I'd rather not, because he would kick my butt. Oh my god, we nearly have cash again, guys. Let's see, Gallant is good. Uh, Peacemaker is good. Uh, I think I've got the ones I really wanted, which are the levies ones. Um, I think I'll probably push on to this next, though. So, there's good things in everything, but no. Ooh, where have I inherited? Hang on, hang on, hang on. And then let's sort my capital first. Right, execute. They can't do anything while they're at war with me. A uh, little bit of torture never went wrong. Uh, then we are going to negotiate their release for their announcing claims.
there we go. That dealt with that. <laughs> Imprisoned them, tortured them, threw them out, telling them they didn't have any, making them publicly denounce, renounce all their claims. Come on, come on. Oh shit. Oh, that's really not worrying. Little, little teeny war here. Straight in to batter them. People wanting tax liens. How dare they? They know I'm their liege. Just straight executing of him. And you rise up against me. Rise up against me. And you fall. There we go. Can I start another assassination attempt yet? Thirty-one, thirty-one, and it is thirty-one, twenty-five. Anyway, guys, that's where we're going to leave it for today. Um, slower, but quite an interesting one. Uh, I'm sorry it's been a bit speed fivey. Next time, I think we're going to try and take over Anflas, and then we're going to start manipulating family members into rule of other places, so I can bring them into my direct domain. But obviously, if our our plot with Gondor works, that will be awesome. So thank you very much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed this, please do like and subscribe. An extra special thank you to my Patreons as always and my channel members, which you can join by clicking join here or there's links to all of those things in the comments. Uh, they should be appearing on the screen now. Um, other than that, as always, a massive thank you to everybody for watching. You are all awesome and I'm glad you're enjoying my content. Cheers, guys.